Hello and welcome back to Angels with Scaly Wings, the Let's Play Blind with Neo Rambler. Right then, before we proceed onwards with the story, I have been told in the comments section that apparently there is a true ending to the game, but you need to play it multiple times to get it. <laughs> Crumble, why can't games just be straightforward? Now, to be fair, I think from what people were saying, you kind of, when you do the next playthrough, your character remembers bits. That's all I know. It, it, they haven't ruined the story for me or anything, so I have no idea what's ahead of me. I have no idea how that's going to work. But fair enough, you know, we'll see where we go with the game. If it means we have to do repeat playthroughs to get the true ending, then we'll see how them, it sort of plays out. If I think I've got it right in terms of how it plays out in my head, I don't know for sure. I haven't looked it up. <clears throat> I'm just going by what the comments were saying. It should be okay. We should be able to keep doing it and feel like it's a normal playthrough. So we'll see how we go with that. But until then, we still have things to do. It is another day. It is another morning. We need to carry on. I awoke from dreams filled with fire and smoke. The sun shining through the window gave me a comforting feeling of familiarity, despite the portal in the distance reminding me of my purpose here. I looked towards the horizon, my view undisturbed by dividing walls. The light of the morning sun was painting the sky with golden hues, a view that had become a rarity back home. It evoked a feeling of freedom and openness that was almost scary to me. I'd become a poet and a writer between videos, as you might have noted from the language of this particular paragraph of the opening narrative to this video. How'd you like it? Is it good? Do you think I should be a writer? We'll see where we go. While I got ready for the day, my thoughts stayed to the people I knew back home. I couldn't help but wonder, how are they doing? I don't know who they are, personally, Neo, I have no idea. They could be absolutely wonderful, joyful people or ass absolute assholes. If you decided to go on this adventure though, I would hazard a guess it'd be in the latter, so to be fair, who gives a shit? But I had greater things to worry about at the moment, like Reza, murders and generators, because yeah, you kind of would need to prioritise that sort of thing really when you're thinking about these things. How much danger was I in? Really? Do I really care? Bing bong! I don't know why I keep saying that, I watched a lot of old Markiplier videos, so... <clears throat> hey, new ramble. Uh, hey chief, more bad news? Not quite, unless you count Reza still missing as bad news. But that's kind of why I'm here. Well, why else would you be here? Obviously you're not here for a friendly invite now, are you? Well, what is it? Just some good old-fashioned police work, and we're counting on your help. Again. How is that good old-fashioned police work if you happen to ask a complete stranger to do your fucking job? That's not good old-fashioned police work, and if that is good old-fashioned police work, I can see why it's old-fashioned police work. You kinda need to do the job yourself, you muppet. Oh well, whatever's. Well, I'm not really in the mood to look at corpses today. I don't like the ones that get up and bite me on the arm. And then again, I suppose to sh you should sign me up, and it's not like I have anything better to do. Let's be diplomatic. Okay, sign me up. Great. We obtained a list of places Reza visited in the days before he vanished. We'll check these out. Maybe find a lead. And you might help us understand his motivations or give us some context to his actions. I can certainly try. That's all you have to do. That is reassuring. Are you ready to go? Uh, yeah. Let's go. I'm sorry my voice is changing. I'm not a very good voice actor never was a voice actor to begin with. There's a couple of places we can check out. Let's see where we should go first. While Bryce focused on his list, I saw someone approach out of the corner of my eye. A close look revealed that it was Sebastian, waving his arm in an attempt to get our attention as he ran towards us. His face grave. Uh-oh. There you are, Chief. I was looking for you. What are you doing here? Don't tell me there's another dead person! Surely that would be a dragon, but... I don't know. Sorry, Chief. There is. Dun, dun, dun. Damn. Guess it's gonna be one of those days. Yeah, it looks that way. Someone else could take care of that today, though. We got other plans. You'll need to sign off on a few things, at least. I know, I know. We'll, we'll go to the crime scene, sign a few forms, and. Bloody paperwork. Ooh. This looks very ominous. When we arrived at the scene, I saw the poor victim next to one of the houses. The obligatory sheet that was draped over him provided a modicum of discretion. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce that word, but forgive me. But did nothing to hide the crime that had occurred. Of course not, it's a dead body. How can you hide that? Alright, give me the story. Uh, it's an interesting one, that's for sure. The wounds match those of the last victim, so a similar, if not identical, murder weapon is likely. The victim? Maintenance person for this area. And the electricity is out. The power goes out, maintenance guy shows up, and is killed before he can fix the problem. At least that's my theory. 
or he was just too expensive and they didn't want to pay the bill. So the power for the whole block is still out? That must be one damn expensive bill. That is correct. It is a pretty expensive bill. Oh, we should get that fixed as soon as possible. Put it on my tab. We don't need civilians showing up around here, complaining about sitting in the dark. Good point. I'll put it on your tab. Bryce's snout wrinkled with distaste as he glanced over Sebastian's shoulder. <laughs> Damn it again. Oh, this is going to be Maverick. What is it? What are you doing here, Maverick? Second victim, huh? This is an official investigation, so you better not cross that police line. <laughs> Shunned by my own colleagues, this is ridiculous. You know how it is, rules are rules. And without rules, murders like this one will be allowed to happen and go unpunished. They'll also be allowed to keep going on until they're punished, but even so! Have your fun without me then. <laughs> Fine, just fucks off then. And then Seb changes position for some reason. What do you think he wanted here, Chief? That one's easy. To do his own investigation just like he said he would. I shouldn't be surprised he showed up, but I guess we're lucky we arrived before he did. I agree. We better check that. that uh, bleh. We better check out that power outage now. I need to fill in that paperwork before I can stop talking proper English. Of course. I think the door to the maintenance room is right round here. God, very creepy looking sort of angles and things. I like it. It's good. I don't think that's the intention, but at the same time, it is a murder scene, so I suppose it's meant to be a little bit intense. But yeah, I, I like how the background art does make things intimidating. Maybe it's just me and the way I interpret it, but I do like it. Something strange about it, but in a good way. You got your flashlight, sir? Always, Chief. You should go first, then. I don't have my stuff here. Besides, you're lower than me. I'm more important. Putting on the head mount is such a hassle. And I'm more important. I'm the fucking Chief. I can do whatever I fucking want. You go first, asshole. I remember you complain about that every time it comes up, you bitch, you fucking bastard, bastard. Wow, that is a really shit flashlight. <laughs> there, that should do the trick. Yeah, if you're playing a horror fucking game, and even then, that's not good enough. <laughs> well, that is definitely some stairs there, Seb. Well done. You just stay behind me, near Ramble, all right? Oh, you're not actually going to get me behind. What's well, kind of you? Okay, I don't like the dark. It scares me. God, I hate stairs, especially those made for smaller dragons like you, you fucking asshole. Fuck off, boss. Trust me, having it the other way around isn't too great either, dickweed. I don't mind stairs. Nah, I'd say nothing. This kind of reminds me of when we found out that underground base, or whatever it was. Remember, Chief? How could I not? It wasn't that long ago. Those fucking zombies were everywhere. God damn, why did they keep burying them in bunkers? I wish they'd stop doing that. Underground base? Was that where the T-Virus was made? Yeah. The, I mean, uh, the portal wasn't the only piece of ancient technology we found. There was also this whole lab near it. Oh, fuck off, is it not? Please don't let it be some sort of biological thing. This is going to be really fucking weird. No, not weird. No, just... I'd, I'd be surprised if I called it right, but I definitely know what happened. There is not zombie dragons in this game. If there were zombie dragons in this game, though... Eh, I don't know. I'll go with it. Seems to have some high-tech stuff there, though. At least that place didn't have as many stairs. Fuck off with the stairs, man. Wait, so you not only found the portal, but a whole facility along with it? Yes, but we're not sure how much the two are actually related. We spent all that time studying the portal and barely got anywhere with it. The stuff is just beyond what we know. Here we are. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, just, just keep it more and more ominous, game. Jesus! That is some scary ass shit! So, what exactly are we looking for as we just walk on the spot because we're not moving? Must be a police procedure thing. Whatever's causing the power outage. If we don't find the cause, we should at least be able to get the backup running. Or we could just pay that damn bill on my tab. Why is it taking so long? <laughs> Why is the torch just going up and down like that? It's weird. Looks like the generator is gone. Mystery solved. The sound of creaking metal penetrated the stillness of the room. Yeah, I know that. I can say. I, I, fucking hell, game. 
Now, that's a good job I got distracted there, because that would have been a minor jump scare. I looked above towards the source of the noise as it grew louder, and in the next instant, I was pushed sideways and fell to the ground, just barely avoiding the giant light fixture that fell from the ceiling and shattered it to countless pieces alongside me. I could only count up to ten. New Ramble, are you all right? The next thing I saw was a hooded figure standing above me, barely visible against the darkness that permeated the room. Oh, great. Oh, hello. Oh, you're definitely human. Okay. Thanks, game! I like the fact this has now all gone horror and shit. The figure crouched down next to me, its mask hovering right in front of my face. Merely a whisper reached my ears when it spoke. I'm Michael Myers. Fuck! Be careful, Neo Ramble. As you can see, the real Neo Rambler cannot do a whispering voice acting role. He's a bit of a douche that way. Then the figure dashed towards the stairs. Where are you going? That... that's not me! Don't move! He's going up the stairs! I'm on it! Dun, 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 dun. Well, fucking hell, he must have fallen. Yeah, he obviously did. I didn't see that chair coming. Can't see a damn thing in here! Here, Chief! I hate these stupid stairs! You're blocking the way! Just go around me, you fucking dick! There's no room, you fat ass! You're wide as those stairs are! I can't help it! I ate too many donuts last night. I was stressed, alright? My wife left me, my kids are suing me for whatever. The bank wants my mortgage. Oh, some shit like that. I don't fucking know. I don't do paperwork. Damn it, we'll never catch him now. Okay. Well, it definitely... Not necessarily was human, but it was wearing boots. I don't know if dragons wear boots or not. And he knew my name, so... By the time we found our way back up, the mysterious figure was nowhere to be found. We've got a long search ahead of us, and with a head start like that, there might be no end to it. We have to take our chances as long as we still can. Except that chance is growing smaller and smaller while we wait for the team to arrive. What even happened down there? Right, new rambler, tell us in everything in as much detail as you can. Well, there wasn't much to it. I heard a noise, I looked up, the light fixture came down, then someone pushed me. You mean Reza? Uh, I'm not so sure of that. Didn't you see him? Whoever it was, was wearing a mask. Bloody well, can't be someone else. Let's not kill ourselves here. Why would they... Why would he... Why, I'm sorry, Chief. I'm all shook up from your fatness. Why would he wear that whole get-up, though? Um, good call. He didn't want to be recognized as some sort of camouflage for protection. Nah, he's got to be recognized. Because how can you get protection from a fucking robe? I mean, that's it. Nah, he's got to be recognized. That's a bad excuse when there are only two humans here. This whole thing doesn't make any sense. Let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Your earlier theory about what happened was pretty sound, Sebastian. Let's go with that and add that bit to the generator being stolen. So now the question is, who has a motive for stealing a generator? Uh... Well... I guess Reza, I suppose? Because he he had the micro-generator, didn't he, to get the portal started, so I'm guessing that, but then, that just seems like an erroneous assumption, that's all. Um, but then again, I suppose if I do say that, I mean, that is a, log a logical thing to say. It doesn't mean it's true, but I th at the same time, I'm not being on the fence because I'm not saying I don't want to side with the dragons or anything. It's just that really, we don't know. Rez has got a generator anyway, so why does he need another one? That's what I mean. It could be anyone, really. I mean, it might be Reza, but then again, nobody has one. Technically, yes, but it's unlikely that someone who lives here would resort to stealing a generator when they could easily buy or even just request one. It's not really the kind of thing that would get stolen around here. How about Reza? I can't deny the fact that your generators are pretty important to us, but resorting to murder? We all saw the human figure running away. Uh, Why would he stay here if he stole it? Maybe it was a dragon in disguise. Are we sure we saw him running away? Well, I'm think we did, so that's a bit of a silly state of thing. I suppose, why would he have stayed if he'd stole it? I guess would make sense, so yeah, let's do that. Why would he stay if he stole it? Why would he remain here if he was the one who stole it? The generator was already gone when we got here, and the person in question wasn't carrying it either. Perhaps this is a case where the criminals returned to the crime scene. For this kind of crime, I'd say no, but who knows? Maybe our rules just don't apply anymore. What do you mean? No offence, but ever since you two humans arrived, there have been a lot of strange things going on. This place used to be a quiet town. 
yeah, well, a lot of places used to be quiet towns. And we had Raccoon City with the zombies. We had Silent Hill doing whatever the fuck it was doing. Nobody still knows what it was. Now we've got this town doing murders and shit. It, it just happens, okay? Some quiet towns just go a bit nuts. So you think it was Reza? Oh, you're starting to sound like Maverick. Maybe this whole thing is just a huge misunderstanding. Well, I don't think it was going to be... We're going to be that naive. Um, I think if I say that it's starting to sound like Maverick, that would be... I don't want to run up the wrong way. I think we should... They, they should think it's Reza, so let's just go with it. So you think it was Reza? Honestly, things aren't looking great for him right now. Still our top priority to find him, but after what we've seen here today, I'm not sure what will happen when we do. I just don't want to give up you any false hope, you know? Oh, I see. Well, that's fair enough, I suppose. Maybe we should just focus on finding him and point fingers later. No, agreed. The police team will be here any minute now. You don't have to get involved with the search, but that doesn't mean you can't help us. Well, what do you want me to do? We still have the list of places we're going to check out now, remember? We can't go now, the search takes priority. Of course, we'll still check out these places after we're done here, but if you go on your own, we can speed up the process. We could even find a lead for us, who knows? Um... Yeah, you must be really under staff if you need to rely on me. That's less to do with my staff and more with what I told you last time. You know him, and that gives you experience that can help us understand how he thinks. That's the kind of help we really need. In any case, here's the list. Considering your status, you shouldn't have any trouble in these places. But if anything happens, call me and I'll check up on you later. Oh, wait a minute, you mean I'm going all by myself? All of us are getting to be busy with the search, and we can't really afford to spare someone right now. You'll be fine. You just said there wasn't a staff shortage, you fucking liar. Aren't you worried I'll do something fishy? Isn't that why Reza and I were assigned police escorts in the first place? That policy was mostly Maverick's fault, and he's out of the picture. My authority is chief, and I say you can go alone. Fair enough, can't argue with the chief. I already know where you're going, besides, I trust you. If you were in cahoots with Reza, you would have run off with him if you had the chance. Good point. I see the team approaching. Guess you should get going. Alright, I'll see you later then, chief. Good luck. Don't call me chief. Call me Shirley. It was a relief to leave the crime scene, considering all that had happened. When I reached into my pocket to take a look at the list, however, I found something unexpected. It was a small piece of paper with the word Tatsu written on it. How did it get there? Oh. Pushed me aside and reached into my pocket. My earlier encounter with the masked person was the only time today someone was close enough to smuggle something into my pocket. I figured if someone like Bryce tried to do something like that, I definitely would have noticed. As for Tatsu... The only related thing I could think of was Tatsu Park, which I'd come across when I went to the police station the other day. Even if that part was the place the mysterious paper referred to, I didn't know if it was actually a good idea to visit. The masked person may have saved me from the falling light fixture, but if it was Reza, it would mean following someone who also has the prime suspect of two murders. I also had to consider the list of places Reza had been to. A local grocery store, a production facility we had visited, and the library were the three places closest to here. It certainly wasn't going to be a busy day. Oh, sorry. It certainly was going to be a busy day, and I knew I wouldn't have the time to visit all of them. Oh, right. Um, well... Okay, well... Let's... This is difficult, because I'm not a detective, and you can make very false erroneous things. Now, if we had more time, I'd visit all of them. So, if you went to the grocery store, the only thing I could think of was probably bought lemons maybe unless he had lemons in his apartments to do the invisible ink other than that i don't see any reason why visiting the grocery store would be a good idea he wouldn't have if, if we're thinking of it from a reza's point of view he wouldn't have gone there to disclose anything and any items that he would have bought from there food wise you could, i suppose you could say he could have bought some fruits or vegetables to make fruit batteries or something like if he really needs power but then you need a lot of them to make energy so again i think the grocery store is a bit I'm going to give it a miss. I might be wrong on this one, but and I might be getting lots of people going, Oh, you got to go to the grocery! I don't think it might be fucking prick! But I'm like, at the moment... I'll tell you what I'll do, actually, is I shall do a quick save. If I do a quick save, then if I fuck up at this point, we can go back and do other bits. I won't do it on purpose, but if people say you really shouldn't have done this, then, you know, we've got that option. Okay? Yeah, see? Thank you. So, I'm not going to go to the grocery store. Um, the production facility, I'm guessing... What would that be, the production facility? Was that to do with the generators being made? I can't quite remember. Um, I know there's a way to go back over the text, but I, I can't remember. I, I haven't been able to do it unless it's down here. No, it doesn't seem to be. Um, 
So that would probably make sense because if he's been there and he's been working there because he went ahead of us, remember, then they would have a bit more information about his behaviour and what have you, perhaps, and who we meet there might be interesting. Library wouldn't be a bad call either, especially if he was trying to get information about this world and how things were. Um, especially if he was looking for information on if, say, Reza is the killer. I mean, we don't know, but it could be. Or whoever the killer was or is, they'd have to research or know about dragon anatomy, you know, so they'd know where to strike in order to take down the dragons, especially if they're using a knife. Um, therefore, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying they didn't know it already, but obviously library is a place of information, um, so that would make sense to do research on that, perhaps, or uh, research on, uh, again, just generators in general, perhaps they're trying to research if they're using this generator that they've stolen to jerry-rig something, but then again, why that particular generator, but then again, you know, there could be a reason for it. Again, it's a good place for information. The production facility may have had that already, but... There's that, and then there's Tatsu Park with a note, which I think we should visit at some point. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll visit the production facility, and then we'll see where we are with there. So, let's go to the production facility. Oh, it's where Anna worked. Oh, well, I'm a dumber, though. There's an up and dumbass, and I forgot this was the place. Oh, well, at least I recognise, and to be fair, it's not a bad thing to ask questions, anyway. Reza was allegedly... Oh, sorry, I've got to do my voice. Well, Reza was allegedly here at some point. Maybe I should ask Anna. Oh. Hello. I'm such an obnoxious knocker. <laughs> Anyone there? Knock, 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 knock. Ooh, that, that's that's quite an intimidatingly sexy dragon, male or female. At least from that angle, anyway. Can I help you? I was just looking for Anna. The lab, right? Why don't I ever get any recognition? This is my lab as much as it is hers. Either way, Anna's not here. Would that be all? Well, since you work here, maybe you can help me instead. Oh, of course. Your precious Anna isn't here, so you'll have to settle for me. I see how it is. That's not what I meant. Of course, of course. Just get this over with. You could start by telling me who you are. Here's the short version. My name is Damien. I work in this facility, and I'm unfortunate enough to live the nightmare of having to deal with Anna on a daily basis. Nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you, too. And you are? You don't know who I am? I know who you are, but your assumption validated the point I was going to make. See, this whole thing about you coming here has been blown out of proportion. It's like some huge event that everyone should be celebrating. Newsflash, not everyone cares. Once both of you are gone, life will return to normal. We can all go back to what we actually should be doing. I imagine a lot of this has to do with those human myths you have. I can only reiterate, not everyone cares. What exactly do you want again? Right, okay. Um... Let's, let, let's, let's, um, let's, let's just stick to facts. He obviously isn't keen on talking to us. I don't really want to push his buttons. Um, let's ask about Reza. Has Reza been here recently? I mean, do you know anything about Reza's visits to this facility? I've seen him a few times. He'd come by to ask about the progress of generators. <sighs> there was this one time when Anna told him she'd have news. But when he came over, she just wanted to run some tests on him. Oh, well, did he go through with it? No, he wanted some compensation, I suppose. Nothing she could offer satisfied him, however, and that was that. Okay. Um, what kind of research are you doing, then? Right now? Guess you got tasked with running all those tests on your blood. You did? That's right. While she goes out and does whatever the heck she wants, I get to keep an eye on the experiment. Oh, any interesting results? Not just yet, but we'll soon know more about your body than you do. Oh. Huh. How long have you known Anna? Why'd you care about that? Maybe I want to find out what kind of person she is. You might have an idea. I'll put it this way. I've known her far too long. Fair enough. What kind of research is Anna doing? Cancer research. She thinks she can cure us, but she's out of her mind. Well, is that such a bad thing? The way she does it? Yeah. She's wasting resources that could be better spent on projects with an actual chance of success. Hmm. I wonder why she needed our blood then. That's interesting. All right, well, that's all then. Thanks for your help, Damien. Sorry to disturb you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I feel sorry for Damien. That kind of sucks. <laughs> you interrogated Damien! Achievement! <laughs> Thanks, game. I feel so much better. There's more time left. What should I do? Um... Uh, I think we'll go to the library. 
lovely tatsu park at the end. Please observe silence at all times. Well, I'm observing it. There's not a lot to observe. All right, Reza, what did you want here? Hey, it's Remy! I already told you it's not here. Who's he talking to? Adin? Won't you help out an old friend? Friend? It's the first time you've spoken to me in years. And whose fault is that? For you, I didn't even exist these last few years. At least I tried to reach out to you. No, 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 you're just here because you want something. I'm right here, right now, and you still continue to act like that. She was my friend too, you know. Ellipses. I think you should leave. Ellipses again. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. For everything. It's a little late for apologies. Have it your way, then. Wow, shit's getting deep. Dean stormed out so quickly that she didn't even notice me. I waited a few moments and wondered if it was a good time to talk to Remy. In the end, I decided that my task was too pressing to come back at another time. I shuffled through books and tried to look busy until I noticed he resumed his work so I could approach him. Ah, oh, hello, Nia Ramble. How can I help you? Uh... How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. Uh, has Reza been in here recently? Reza? Uh, he's visited quite often since he arrived, actually. Until a few days ago, that is. Do you know what he was reading? Not particularly. I just thought he wanted to learn about our world. Did you notice anything unusual about him when he was here? I uh, can't say that I did. He did ask me for a map once. A map? Yeah, I showed him a few, but none of them seemed to be what he was looking for. Well, did he talk to you about anything strange while he was here? Besides the maps, nothing else worth mentioning comes to mind. Only the usual pleasantries. Hmm, interesting. What did Adine want from you? Wait, you were here the whole time? Well, not the whole time, just long enough to know that something's up. It's nothing that concerns you. Oh, come on, it does concern me. I know you and I know Adine. It's really nothing of great importance. Are you aware of a certain prehistoric underground building we recently discovered? Well, you've heard of it. She wanted a blueprint of it, which was one of the things found inside the building during an investigation. Why would you have it? Well, we're not just a library, you know, but a whole archive that stores all sorts of information and objects. In any case, a blueprint's the kind of thing that would be placed in our care eventually. So she thinks you have it. Even if we did, it wouldn't be something we could just give out to anyone. Well, of course. Mm, right, mm, fair enough. That's all, Remy. Thanks, old chum. Thanks for your help. Oh, I mean, uh, thanks for your help. I'm just putting on this act of meekness because, I don't know, near Rambler's weird. You're welcome. Right. I'm going to go to the park then. Oh. Well, that sucks because I really wanted to go to the park. Ooh. I don't know whether I should reload that or not. I didn't realise that that would be the case. Um... I think I will actually. I think we'll reload that because um, I'll, I'll save it at this point. So we've got this, but I'm going to reload and see where we get. To. Oh, damn it! Oh, it's just loading this bit again. Right, we need to. Right, we need to load up the previous one, which I think was this. So that means we've got to do the whole. We've got to. Uh, We've got to visit the production facility. We've got to do all this again. Oh, bollocks. All right, we'll quickly get through this then. Yeah, knock, 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 knock. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, quickly get on with it. I could edit this out, but I'm being lazy. Hello, intimidating man. That looks actually quite sexy from that angle. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we've done this already. I know you don't know that. Ugh, come on. I should edit this out, really. Sorry. I'll, I'll edit it out in the future. For now, you can skip ahead in the video if you want at the right moment. I'm just going to go through this again. Uh, let's just try and do it in the correct order we did it before. Um, so, yeah, it's that one next. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, that's that. Oh, I got the wrong order. Shit. Doesn't really matter, to be fair. I don't think it really matters. Anyway. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, brilliant. Thank you, Damien. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, I know you don't realise that we've just done this before, but I do because I'm, you know, outside of the game. Right, let's try this again. So, uh, save the game and we'll go to Tatsu Park. I think this might be important. Tatsu Park, here I am. I don't even know what I'm looking for, though. 
Uh, read the sign, look at the map, search the shrubbery, search the pavilion, stop searching the park. Right, let's... Well, we know from the alternative timeline that he was looking for maps. So let's look at the map then. This park's bigger than I thought. Well, you go north towards Tatsu Avenue, which apparently is a nice spot to look at the landscape or south of the political district. Where should I go? Um... I'm going to go Tatsu Avenue. Oh, that's very nice. There's a hatch. Oh, examine the fallen leaves. I don't recognize this species of tree. I'm not going to rest on the bench. Let's open the hatch. On the metal covering of the hatch, there are two buttons which are situated to the left and the right of a central circular lever. The arrow on the lever is pointing up. Oh, well, we don't know what the combination is, do we? That's not good. Um, well, there's really no point in doing this because I don't think we've come across anything of the sort. If we have, I've missed it or forgotten all about it. I might as well give up because there's no point messing around with that. Right, okay, let's go back then. Right, so that's interesting then. Um, let's search the shrubbery. Yes, tell me what looks strange or suspicious. Here we go. Found some dirt. There doesn't seem to be anything else here. Yeah, but it could be sexy dirt. <laughs> I found a handful of dirt. But fuck you, game. <laughs> Fine, I shall search the pavilion then. You never know what you might find around a pavilion. Let's do this. Doesn't seem to be anything important here, but at least it provides excellent shade. Right, um. I guess we'll read the sign. This park is dedicated to our creator, to whom we owe our sentience and existence. As it's our duty to remember, this place honors them every day with its beauty and grants a place of recreation and contemplation to all of us. Okay. Very well then, so let's go to the political district then. Just as I entered the su oh sorry no this is normal me isn't it? Just as I entered the southern part of the park, I found myself tumbling to the ground when someone suddenly bumped into me. Ouch! Another sexy male dragon. Interesting. Uh, sorry about that. You all right? Uh, besides being a little dirtier than before. <laughs> sorry, that was really silly. I think so. I should really look where I'm going. Sometimes I just get lost in my thoughts. Hey, I think you dropped this. Oh, thank you. Those stories, huh? Yep. Well, I should probably go before the bookstore closes. Bye. Bye. I love you. Someone's sitting on. Uh, there's someone sitting on the benches. Okay. Should approach him. Ooh, hello. Interesting. What a most pleasant surprise to be meeting you here, Neo Ramble. Do you know who I am? I'm afraid I don't. Then let me fill in the gap in your knowledge. My name is Emmeron, and I am the Minister of Culture and Arts. Oh, I see. And what brings you here today, Neo Ramble? Oh, I'm not quite sure of that myself. Eh, the park does have an appeal that naturally draws people in. I would know, since I am partly responsible for creating it. Have you seen the North Side yet? If not, you totally should. It's just so pretty this time of year. You created this park? Well, some of it. Do you see the building behind me? It's where I work. Do you want to know a secret? The park was built here so I could enjoy going outside on my breaks. Like right now, for example. Can I ask you a question? You can ask for sure, but whether I can answer or not is another question. What would you like to know? Okay. Um, ask about the park. Can you tell me more about Tatsu Park? Well, I'm not so sure that there's much to say about it. It's just opened recently. I think the initial request was for more open spaces, like a dedicated place for people to gather and such. If you read the plaque, you would know that the park was dedicated to our so-called creator. I say creator like that because I think that word is a bit of a misnomer. But I suppose people still use it regardless. Hmm. Ask about a job. Can you tell me more about your job? I could, but I think overall it's a very boring affair. It involves a lot of reading and talking and approving or rejecting forms and projects. It has its perks, but in some ways I'll certainly be happy when my term is over. If you've been minister once, there's something people will remember you for, even if those times are long past. No one can ever take that away from you again. 
mentioned your term ending. How does that work here? Well, we, the ministers, serve our term, and then someone else takes our place. Only one minister changes at a time, though. Technically speaking, any person can become a minister, though there are certain standards and requirements that must be met in order to apply for office. I don't want to bore you with the details, as that too would be a long and tedious affair. Ask about my visit. What do you think about us visiting this world? You and Reza? Well, I think it's about the most exciting thing that's happened here in the last few years. Certainly has been a nice distraction from the other boring things I have to do at work. How well, so? Arranging your arrival was partly my responsibility. In fact, I would have been at the portal to welcome you myself if something didn't come up at the last second. Well, I would have liked that, but that's all. I suppose I should be getting back to work anyway. Well, thank you for this most pleasant conversation, Neo Ramble. You know, if you wanted to continue talking at a later time, you should have no difficulty contacting me. I'll keep that in mind. I guess we can date her then. I think she's like a sort of older female dragon, but I don't know, I quite like a punkish sort of thing. It looks cool, I like it. Um, right, so we've done that, we've done that. Um, apart from the uh, ting, uh, I really think there's any reason for it, so I suppose we'll stop searching the park. I don't think I'll find anything else here. So I think out of that though, although the park was interesting, um, I mean, at the end of the day, it's whether... I'm, saying, I'm, I'm torn between two now because I think the information about Reza looking for maps is more important reporting to the police than our talk with uh, the lady just then. Um, so I'm not sure which sort of timeline to go with now. It might only be very minor, but I don't know because I'm, I'm a bit torn. Um... Because, okay, the library thing, I'm not, I don't care about uh, Remy and uh, Aldine too much. I think they just sees their own business. But the fact that Reza was at the library getting maps, I think, is important. Whereas just learning about Tatsu Park for our own benefit it seems like a waste of time. Emma is pretty cool, though. I do like her, but I just don't think we've really accomplished anything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be a bit naughty here. I am going to reload. Which one would have been this one, I think? No, it would have been that one. Yeah, it would have been this save data. So this is the save data that we had. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, I'm an idiot. Hold on. I'm getting my times wrong. You see, I'm thinking too far ahead in time. So I think it was this one. Yeah, this one. All right, we'll stick with this one then, where we've been to the library, and we'll sort of bypass the park for now. Yes, we're aware of the hatch, but we can't really do anything with it, so we'll leave it. The afternoon sun... Oh, we can always change that, though. If you want me to change that, just let me know. The afternoon sun... Oh, excuse me. Oh, my apologies. The afternoon sun hung low in the sky, and I decided it was time to report my findings to the police. A brief call to the department, and I was on my way to an appointment with Sebastian. I'm not sure my findings will help, but at least I have something. Look who we have here. <sighs> oh shit. I turned around to see Maverick as intense gaze confirmed that there was no one else's words could have been directed at. Even with the civilians passing by in the background, I suddenly felt very alone. What do you want from me? Answers. Okay, start talking then. Just tell me one thing. Why? What is your goal in all this? Why even come here? Um... Well, yeah, that, you know, why we came as ambassadors for humanity and to oversee the trade we agreed on. That, that's pretty much it. No, 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 that won't do. That's simply not true. You know it and I know it. So I just don't get why you can't be honest with me, even when you know no one else is listening. You know I can't touch you. If I did, it would be over for me. At least as long as I don't have any proof. In the end, what difference does it make now if I know? Or what difference does it make if I know? Sorry, can't speak. I had my injury. No one is going to believe me anyway. I think I've changed the voice again, but I blame Neo Ramble again. He's a crap voice actor. Do you wish to kill me too, like Reza? Um, no, I'd never do such a thing. Is that so? Then tell me why would an ambassador need such a dangerous tool in the first place? I know you claim not to have one of those things Reza injured me with, and you didn't have any say. Oh, sorry, you didn't have any when they searched you, but I guess it's way too late for safety precautions at this point. You could have hidden one anywhere. A damn hurt, you know. But even worse was that it was getting thrown aside by Bryce. I trust him, but after what happened, he doesn't trust me anymore. 
Now there's only you, the mythical, the special, the new. How much I wish I could make him see what I see. I could have saved the world with what I did that day, and it still wouldn't have mattered if no one believes me. Just because I don't have any proof. But I won't stop till I find some. And when I do, I'm going to be a damn hero. Alright, off you go then. And with that, he was gone. On the way to the police station, Maverick's words kept finding their way back into my mind. I couldn't decide how to feel about them. I just ignore him, he's a prick. We're not going to hurt him, and that's that, unless he puts us in a situation which we will. I wasn't even sure if it was worth mentioning to the police, since all he did was make vague accusations. It wasn't anything substantial enough to be considered a threat. However, his actions were growing more calculated, and he seemed very sure of himself. I wondered about what this could amount to. But that wasn't the problem at hand. Yeah, it's just something that will probably catch up with us and bite us up in the butt later. Wouldn't worry about it. Hey, new Ramble. Hey, Sebastian. I thought I'd meet you at the front desk. What are we doing in Bryce's office? He does have a nice office, doesn't he? And the chairs are comfy. Is that the only reason why we're in here? The dragon gave a brief chuckle. <laughs> Let's just say that any information pertaining to this case is important enough to warrant some privacy. I see. Not sure if I like where this is going. Will Bryce be here any time soon? I don't think so. He's still outside looking for Reza. He's not the kind of person who gives up easily. Mm. Can't... <coughs> Sorry, wrong voice. Can't we help? There's only so much we can do. I was out searching too until I came to meet you. At this rate, it doesn't look like we'll find him today. He could be anywhere. Long gone. Beyond our reach. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea what he's doing or what his plan is, really. I wonder what will happen to our trade agreement now, considering Reza's still missing, the murders, and the stolen generator. Reza really is the murderer, then. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to nuke you all. I mean, <clears throat> I guess we'll just have to cancel the trade. Don't do that. What? Worry. You don't know what's at stake here. Nukes are very dangerous. People are dead, near Ramble. Do you think I don't know that? Reza may be our prime suspect, but he's also a missing person. For all we know, he could be a victim. Maybe someone is making him do this. My point is, we don't know the facts yet. What we need to do is find him and find the murderer. We'll find Reza and go from there. We'll figure it out. Thanks, Sebastian. <laughs> You're a damn good cop. Anyway, you said you had some information for us. What did you find? Um, I, the, oh, uh, the, the timeline one. Timeline one, library and shit. I'm not sure if there's anything special about Anna wanting Reza's blood. I mean, she's a scientist, so it's natural she'd be interested in something like that. I'll have to talk to her about it, though. Maybe just some more details for us. The map in the library. I don't know what to think about that. You could have needed a map to plan something, I suppose, but who knows what he really wanted to do with it. It's that kind of detail that, on its own, might not tell us much, but it could be crucial later on. I was right. I fucking knew it. My gut instinct was right on that. Well done, Neil Ramble. That gives us some solid points from which we can continue our investigation. I'm kind of glad I went back to that timeline. I think just sort of mulling it over, that was more important. You did well on the second investigation. Oh yeah, two points. In any case, thanks for your help. We really do appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. That should be all. Since Bryce hasn't come back, I assume the search is still going on, and I'd better get out there and help him. I guess it's going to be a long day. Can you find your own way back to your apartment? Of course. All right, I'll see you later. Good luck, sir. Yeah, we did well. That's all right, then. Finally, some free time. What am I ever going to do? Um, well, Bryce is out searching. Don't care about Lorem at the moment. I can't remember who Lorem is. Um, I'm gonna save the game. I can't save the game. I have no idea what's going on. No! Oh, oh, I can go backwards! Oh, right, that's what people meant. I used the trigger buttons and I can go back. I think. Oh, that's cool. I can go back. So if I want to change my mind rather than have to save and load, I can just do it on the fly. Oh, that's cool. Right, well, quick save then. Oh, that is cool. All right, well, I like that. Um, So, okay, that's fine. Right, what we'll do then is we'll end the video. I want to meet with Anna because I'm going to... I want to get to know her better. But I've heard she's very difficult and we're probably going to fuck it up anyway. And apparently she's hard to sort of get on your side. But, um, you know, considering the information I was given last video and the video before, 
well, the video before at least, anyway, I'm not, I'm not sure about the last video, but no, last video about her being difficult. I think we should continue on with our quest to try and bang Anna. That sounds rather perverse, but I'm still interested. Let's see if we can do it. And just on time. Oh, where is she? Hello! I'm obnoxiously knocking your door again. <gasps> What's this? Looks like a message. Something came up at the last second. Wait for me. It shouldn't be too long. Anna. I guess at the last second is meant in a literal sense here. Oh, well, she could have just called me. Guess we're playing the waiting game then. Time to play the waiting game, the waiting game, the waiting game. It's getting boring. Let's play Hungry Hippos instead. Okay, it's been like an hour. My patience is slowly but surely running out. No. We're gonna wait, damn it. I've already waited this long, so I guess I can wait a little longer. I'm not fucking this up. I'm not sure who the world record holder for most boat. <laughs> I'm not sure who the world record holder for most patient person is, but now I feel like a contender. Still sign, no sign of her though. Right. Tried to get into her lab. I don't think she'd like that. Um I don't know, because if we get into a lab that could piss her off. Um but then again if we wait, I guess we'll be like a bit of a docile chap that she wouldn't be interested in. It's a tough call, but we have saved it, so we can always go back. So I'm going to be the good boy here and I'm going to wait because I'm boring and I'm pathetic and I'm rubbish. Well, if she doesn't show up soon, I'm done. <gasps> yeah, we called it. There you are. Oh my God. Where have you been all this time? Reading comprehension must not be your strong suit because my note clearly said I'd be back soon. Note to self, the word soon now refers to a time span of over two hours when waiting for a scheduled appointment. <laughs> Has it really been that long? You certainly didn't feel like it. Alright, sorry for making you wait. Ah, uh, losing track of time happens to the best of us. Happens to me all the time. Guess we missed our movie. Can't we see that late screening or something? That was the late screening. The theatre's closed now. Maybe we should reschedule. That won't work, at least not for me. Today was the only day I could leave early. I wouldn't have had another chance anytime soon. So what do we do now? Maybe the coffee place is still open, I don't know. Guess that's better than nothing. Closed as well. Well, that's just peachy. Why don't you keep working so late anyway? Because I'm what I'm doing is important. So yes, yeah, the cancer research, isn't it? You're doing cancer research, right? And who told you that? Damien. Stopped by a lab some time ago, but you weren't there. That shotburn bastard! What else did he tell you about me? Oh, nothing much. The whole thing wasn't really about you anyway. Let's see. Sounds like you two don't get along that well. That's the understatement of the century. Being trapped in a small room with the likes of him for hours on end every day is a scenario born of a sick mind with the intention to make me suffer as much as possible. It certainly doesn't make my research any easier. The stress probably doesn't help you either. That's not worth jeopardizing your health over. Don't overwork yourself. You can't save everyone if you're dead. If I don't find a cure, no one else will. No one else can. Besides, I was only late today because I got your stupid blood work ready. You have the test results? Yeah. Want to know what I have to say about them? Well, definitely. Okay. How much do you know about genetics? Uh, a little bit, I guess. I don't really know anything about genetics, but let's not let her in on that one. Don't worry. I'll put it in words that are easy for you to understand. To start off, I found that on average, about 90% of your genes are homologous homologous to our species genes. Oh, is it? Ho I thought it was always pronounced homologous. Homologous. Oh, I suppose homolog homologous. I, I always said homogenous, but it must be a slightly different word then. But homologous just means that they're the same as, if you didn't know. But I guess you knew because homo means same. And, yeah, whatever. Anyway, okay, that's interesting. That may seem like a lot, but to put it in perspective, about 50% of your DNA is also shared with fruit. <laughs> Great. Oh, I quick saved. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that, but I guess it doesn't matter. Don't stop saving your stupid game. To further elaborate, you and your human neighbour... Actually, it kind of makes sense, sorry to interrupt, but that kind of makes sense that half my DNA is shared with fruit, because only fruit would save the game while we through a dialogue thing, because fruit's a bit stupid like that. Anyway, to further elaborate, you and your human neighbour back home are probably around 99.9% .9 genetically similar. If you compared to the various sentient species we have here to each other, they would only be about 95 to 97% similar. As for what exactly all of this tells us, fuck all, probably. Although a match of 90% sounds like a lot, it's not as much as you might think. Still, for two beings from a different world altogether, that's quite remarkable. 
Beyond DNA, the biggest similarity between us is within the brain structure. But that's not surprising considering our high level cognitive abilities. Oh, she's gone red in the face. Oh, that'll surprise Maverick. What do you mean? He doesn't seem to like humans very much. I'm sure you'll be displeased to know how similar we are. Oh, he doesn't like anyone really. He just He's just like me in that way. <laughs> I like this girl. She hates everyone. So do I. Yeah, you two would make a great couple. You're a little bit late for that. I'm already his ex-girlfriend. Ooh, well, I kind of guess that was going to happen really, wasn't it? But that's fine. Really? Well, how did that go? Not how you might think. It actually went pretty well. For a while, at least. But in the end, we got too absorbed in our jobs until we realised we had drifted apart too much and agreed it would be better if we just broke up. Oh, that sucks. I still respect him for the work he does. I mean, we even used to solve crime together. I'd be in the lab, running tests, and he'd be out in the field, chasing after the perps. Those were good times. Well, you do seem like quite a match made in heaven. Oh, perhaps I should... Perhaps I should not selfishly go after you. Perhaps I should reignite your two's passion for one another again. I guess nowadays he just chases after me. I'm sorry I stole you, bitch. What? Well, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't say that. But if you know him, maybe you can help me out. I certainly can't help you if you don't tell me what's going on. Okay, but this is just between us, all right? Sure, whatever. Oh, well, Maverick's convinced I'm the accomplice of a crime. He made a point to tell me that he's searching for proof to legally arrest me. Oh, virus. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. Really? It's nothing. You can't find any proof that doesn't exist. Well, it's still, it doesn't feel nice to be threatened and stalked, especially by someone like him. Ah, that's just him. He just gets way too into it once he sets his sight on something. I noticed. It's his job. What do you expect? I'd wish he'd just leave me alone. He wasn't always like this, you know. Oh. A couple of years ago, he was assigned to this one case. <gasps> Flashback! Oh, shit. Okay. He was still relatively new on the force. Young and eager to help. And reality came crashing down on him. There was a serial killer who shook up the whole town. The victims were apparently eaten. Oh, fuck off. No, not zombies. No, I know it's probably dragons eating dragons. But still, that's... Oh, shit. We later found out that the killer's actions were the result of a degenerative disease which brought his feral nature to the foreground. Okay, fuck it. What? This is the T-Virus. This is the T-Virus. I called it. I was only joking. And now look. At that point, he was just a wild animal. Turned into a cannibal that hunted under the shadow of night. Holy shit, this is zombies, man. Everyone in town was up in arms, terrified they'd be next. The police did everything they could. The curfew was instated and patrols guarded the street at night. And then they found him munching on his fifth victim. Poor little Maverick was not prepared for what he would find. I don't want to see any images of it. Stand back, Maverick. I'll handle this. Miles? Oh. Oh, shit. It was his brother. Step away from the body, Miles. Oh, Miles was the zombie. Oh, shit. Miles couldn't comprehend their words and only saw rivals who wanted to take his prey. And he wasn't about to just let go of it without a fight. That's kinda creepy. Miles raised his head from his skin, blood dripping from his maw. The officer's breaths were smothered by the deadly, deathly stillness of the night. Fangs bared, the feral dragon snarled and stood strong in front of his meal, prepared to protect it from the two intruding upon his territory. I guess this isn't really zombies, it's kinda like, you know, perhaps, um, you know, he's lost his cognitive abilities and it's zombie-like, but it's not really a zombie. I'm just kinda kidding on that one. Whatever this is, Miles, it's over. Don't make it worse now. Oh, snap! Bryce is a zombie! In an instant, Miles was upon a Bryce. It clashed from the furry of teeth and claws. Miles had the advantage with a small flaming, quick movements, and Bryce could not get a clear hit in. It all happened so fast that Maverick didn't know what to do. They rolled on the ground, and Bryce ended up on his back as helpless as a turtle. Miles pinned him and clamped his jaws in his neck. Bryce's claws were the only thing preventing Miles from biting down, and they were slipping. Slick with blood and quivering with fatigue as he tried to push him off. For a brief moment, Bryce thought he'd meet his ends when the jaws suddenly relaxed and he was able to dislodge them. When he looked up, he saw that Maverick had managed to get Miles from behind. He bit through his brother's neck from above. Ooh. Blood flowed down Maverick's jaws and over Miles' lifeless body. Shit, killed him. Bryce had been saved with the young dragon wore wide eyed, empty stare. That's fucked up, that is. That is fucked up. Uh, fair enough. Totally sympathise with him now. That's cool. Uh, I, I, I will hand. Er I will work with Maverick. I will hand myself in. He can take me for a ride. That's some fucked up shit. That is. I mean, okay, he's not. Like I said, he's not actually a zombie, but it's zombie-like and shit. Damn. 
Maverick blamed himself for not taking better care of his brother. He knew Miles had problems and was taking medication for it, but he wished he could have done more to help him. The medication wasn't the right one, by the way. Maverick takes solace in the fact that he was able to save Bryce, but he's never been the same since that incident. Now he scrutinises everyone and everything. So that's why he still respects Bryce then. I'm not sure how that's supposed to help me. It just made me fear of zombie dragons. It doesn't, but now you know why he is. Uh, why he is how he is. It's not unusual for him to act like this, so you might just have to wait it out. Anyway, let's get back to your test results. Well, thanks for telling me that, Anna, actually. I'll, on a serious note, that's that's some interesting information and that really does suck. So, fair enough, I'm going to be a lot more lenient to Maverick because, I, I mean, that that's some fucked up shit, that is. That would fuck anybody up. Uh, since you were so interested, did you want a copy of them? Yeah, I'd appreciate that. No problem. I heard you also wanted Reza's blood. Well, of course. I invited him over too, but that was before you arrived here. And I thought what we had was special. Oh, it is. Reza was too stuck up to agree to anything. He wouldn't even participate in an exhilarating round of trivia board games? Not even that. Can you believe it? What a dick. I can almost see the sarcasm dripping from your mouth. Still, it's kind of a shame. It would have been interesting to compare your blood to his. What a shame indeed. Let's just enjoy our romantic date in the back alley of a coffee shop. Of course. Unless you want to take this someplace else. What, don't you like hanging around dirty back alleys? Um, I'd rather be someplace less dirty. <laughs> Actually, I do. Um, uh, what was said? What, you don't like hanging around dirty? You don't like... Actually, I do like it. <laughs> I don't want to... I could be sarcastic. I suppose, I suppose I, should, I should be sarcastic. If she's sarcastic with us. Let's do it. Let's be sarcastic. Actually, I do. Now that's the spirit. <laughs> I'm getting kind of hungry. I figured we'd be having a meal on a date. What, you can't go a few hours without having to stuff your face? Cut off your handful of dirt if that's your taste. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> I already have my own dirt. <laughs> Sorry, but I already have my own dirt. Oh really? What kind of dirt would that be? Only the finest governmentally funded dirt from Tatsu Park. You filthy back alley stuff is nothing on this. <laughs> you win this round. Only the way a star side dish would be nice. I know there's one place that never closes. Let's go there. Sure. Man, this is getting good. I like this date. Ooh. This is nice. After several minutes of walking, Anna led me down to the outskirts of town. We arrived at a farmhouse on one side. Fields stretched towards the horizon. On the other were lush green hills with fenced populations of animals. What kind of a restaurant is this supposed to be? Self-serve. Oh, God. We're going to basically eat. Oh, God. I don't know where this is going. You're a bad girl, Anna. I know. How well can you hunt? <laughs> Even if I knew how, it's not like I have any equipment here. <laughs> equipment? What a sissy. <laughs> you got hands and teeth, what more do you need? A long range weapon, maybe? Like fire? I suppose you could make use of that. Alright, since I'm apparently the only one capable of acquiring food, I'll be right back. <laughs> Fuck it, let it be the alpha female, I'm up for it. And I walked over to a fence enclosure of animals that reminded me of sheep. She crouched and squeezed herself through the bars, after which I lost sight of her. <laughs> Waiting game 2.0 start. Oh, maybe I should give that... Oh, was it was it Lorem we talked to about the um, video game thing? I think it was Lorem, wasn't it? That's who Lorem is. Perhaps we should tell him about this. This will be a brand new game in concepts. It'll sell like hotcakes. Took only a couple of minutes... Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Took only a couple of minutes for her to return, dragging one of the animals behind her with her now blooded jaws and hands. Wow, you look damn hot and all that gore. Dinner's ready. What kind of animal is this? It's called a mouflon. Anyway, do you have a part you prefer? See how nice I am? I'm even letting you choose first. Hmm. Uh, not the offal. If I, um... I'm going for the rump. No problem. Using one of her claws, she skinned the deaf mouflon. I might as well, but I'm not going to put it to waste. She skinned the dead mouflon and divided it into various pieces. Do you want yours grilled or raw? Uh, grilled. Unless prepared properly, raw meat carries a significant risk of diseases to us. <laughs> How inept can your species be? You can't hunt on your own, you need tools to help at every step. You don't even have claws to cut things up. I'm not sure how you could ever survive in the wild. Seriously, what did <laughs> what god did you piss off to end up like that? <laughs> um Evolution. 
I guess after millions of years evolution, nature decided we didn't need those abilities anymore. Sad we've got very articulate hands and arms and our upright stance. Let's let us do many other things. Like what? Who builds everything in your society? Who's responsible for the delicate tasks like assembling electronics, manufacturing or cooking and bartending? That's mostly us, the runners. We've got proper hands after all. Now compare your arms to mine. Ooh, intimacy. I got back in a sec. Right, sorry about that. That was uh, uh, the dogs trying to get up the stairs. Right, <clears throat> let's carry on with this uh, moment of intimacy. Now compare your arms to mine. Ours are much longer and have way more mobility. Especially our fingers. They have an incredible amount of articulation. The difference between you and me is about as big as the difference between you and another of your species. Just imagine what we could do with our advantages. Damn near, Rambley knows how to fucking sex up a dragon. Oh, you think you could school me? Sure I can. Don't get cocky. We overcame the limitations of individual species with all of our technology. Actually, we have technology back home that's far superior. Oh, Nia, don't turn this into a fucking penis contest. All right, mate, calm down. We have technology back home that is as far superior to yours. I'd love to see it. And we've already gathered plenty of information on your tech from the databases containing in the BDA. What will you do when we catch up? If you get there, we'll see. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. She opened her more wide before a liquid shot from both corners of her mouth and onto the ground below the parts of the mouth she had appeared, prepared. After a few seconds, the liquid burst into flame, heating up our dinner. Now that is handy. That's a neat trick. Bet you wish you could do that, huh? Huh. <laughs> That'd be wicked cool, yo. <laughs> it comes in handy. How does it work, anyway? Did you ever burn your mouth? Not at all. There are actually two different components. The only one on f uh, the only catch on f they only catch on fire when a sufficient quantity of both is present. Oh, interesting. This is getting intimate now. <laughs> but I'm okay with it. I'm totally okay with this. Even with the bloody maul. This is nice. I like this. This is quite nice. If I was on a date with her, I'd be enjoying myself. The flames weakened and grew small until they went out, revealing steamy, appetizing pieces of meat. Help yourself. I grabbed a piece, but dropped it as soon as I felt the heat on my fingertips. Ah, oh, that's still hot! Can't take a little heat, her. That's too bad. Unaffected by its temperature, she took a piece into her hands, tore a chunk out of it with her teeth, and started chewing. I guess your scales are a good insulator. Evidently so. How does it taste? Just wonderful. Stolen goods always taste best. I can already picture the old farmer reduced to tears after he discovers one of his precious mouflons is gone. Oh, God. <laughs> You're a wild one, Anna. Thanks, I could teach you a thing or two. I think it should be cool enough for your sensitive little fingers now. Carefully, I grabbed one of the pieces, which by now had indeed cooled enough down, uh, cooled down enough to not burn me anymore and took a bite. I better man up now, because I've already literally played so many sissy cards now. I'm surprised she's even hanging with us. It's probably a sympathy date, but fuck it, I'll take it. It was a little bland, I have to admit, but not bad for something that was alive less than an hour ago and prepared in a while. How'd you like your mouflon a la Anna? feel like a wild animal. Quite different from sitting in an expensive restaurant and using their fancy cutlery and napkins, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. How often do you just go out and hunt on your own? Only when necessary, or when I feel like it. I still go to fancy restaurants because I can afford it, but they don't mean much to me. For me, it's all about the experience, and one isn't necessarily better than the other. Yeah, I can see your point. This was unusual, but fun. And I would actually honestly say that, because it's not... I like doing different things. Yeah, I'd be scared and all that, but at the same time, I would have enjoyed it. And I think, you're right, the experience is what counts, and I'd love it. It'd be great, a great memory. I can see your point. It certainly isn't how I thought the evening would go, but it was pretty fun. Anyways, I'm stuffed. Me too. There's still plenty left over. What are we going to do with it all? We can just leave it here. <laughs> Maybe the old farmer will help himself to it. <laughs> Talk about recycling. <laughs> hey, it's me, 100% biodegradable. Should probably leave before the scene L has been wakes up from his evening nap. Yeah, let's go. Well, that was definitely interesting. Wait a minute. I've got something for you. Here you go. Oh, your test results, black and white. Oh, thanks. Do you really need to spend all the extra time getting this done today? I just wanted to get it over with when I had the chance. Maybe you should start thinking about not working so late on a regular basis. It might do you some good, Anna. You know, I think you have a point. I haven't been feeling like myself lately. There are various reasons for that, but working too much might be one. Today was kind of fun, so maybe I should make the effort to get out every once in a while. Yeah, I think you should, girl. I like it. Just don't turn into a zombie cannibal, alright? And we'll be golden. 
Speaking of which, now that our date's officially over, we should talk about your end of the deal. Oh, of course. There's an opening soon where I can fit you in. We'll call you with all the details. I shall be looking forward to that. I think we nailed that. I think we're definitely in there. Right. I think... I think... Me, I think us and Anna Man, there's definitely some poon action going on there. So I think we'll end it with that then. What a lovely ending to a video. Do you know what? I enjoyed that. That was fun. So okay, um, if they want me to make any changes to anything now, I better save the game actually just with a quick save uh, before anything should go on. Except for some reason it won't let me. No, don't do that. I was enjoying that. God. Oh, here we go. Quick save. Right. So I quick save the game. So yeah, if you want me to go back over any decisions we've made, I don't think we need to. I think I made the. I, I personally, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I think I've made the right decisions on the in the investigation in case. Um, but um, anything else on the case, let me know. But the date with Anna going well. I'm enjoying it. Um, but anyway, I am actually generally enjoying this game. This has actually been very different to what I thought it was going to be, and I like how deep it's getting, how dark it's getting. The twist with Maverick was really interesting. Um, it's very well. <laughs> Excuse me, it's very well written as well. I like how this game's written. I like how it's presented. It's very cool. I like it. So, um, can't wait to see where else this is going to go. Um, I've heard it's, you know, quite something. But until then, can I say thank you very much for watching if you have done. And um, until next time, take it easy. Have a good one. Hope you're all well. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye for now.